Ah, what a lovely Christmas morn, as I sit here adorned in my red dressing gown, uh, toasting a marshmallow off this TV's radiation, as a blanket of snow covers the land. Three bushfires burning north of Sydney have joined to create what's been dubbed a mega blaze. Hello everyone and welcome to this Christmas special on CMB Extra for 2019. Christmas was always a big event for me as a kid. I mean, how could you not get excited? Like literally all the shops are filled with decorations, conversations are changing and TV starts playing different specials. And at that time as a kid, there was no better place to find Christmas specials than on Nickelodeon. Now every year my family would take a trip down the coast to visit family and every time we would stop at this like rip-off blockbustery type place to pick up some stuff to watch. And I would always pick up the same two DVDs. The third Rugrats movie, for whatever reason, and this. Nicktoons Christmas. This specific DVD. This isn't of course the same version, but I th this DVD. Just the case alone brings back memories of a time when Nickelodeon did Christmas right. And they didn't just have like two cartoons on air at the one time. This was a time of fantastic writing and some of the best specials to ever come out. You've got Christmas Who, Babies in Toyland, A Rocket Xmas and Christmas Every Day. Some of the best in the business. And now on this Christmas morn, it is time for us to jump into these and enjoy some of the best there is. Amazon! You know what? It's alright. Christmas can still be saved. Let me just... Hello, Reiners? Yes, yeah, it's, it's Chester. Chester. Um, anyway, do you have, um, a Nicktoons Christmas? Yeah, the, the DVD. It's, it's Chester. Alright, well that didn't help too much. To the computer! Alright, so I could download them illegally, but it's not really illegal. I mean, I bought it, I, I spent, I spent seven bucks getting it, they just, people at Amazon didn't put the disc in. So, I could do that. You wouldn't steal a car. Uh, well, no, I mean, I tend to stick away from such endeavours. You wouldn't steal a man's wallet. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's fair. You wouldn't stab a grandmother with a Tilbert. Wait, what? Piracy is murder. Okay, um, looks like pirating might be out of the cards for the moment. What am I gonna do? This special's already been going for a few minutes. You know, you could just turn the camera off and wait for me to work out what I'm gonna do rather than just filming me be stressed. <coughs> oh yeah, it is December. Let's find something to talk about. I did it! I was able to hack into their mainframe. I shot a guard. Used a well-placed karate chop to the panel to open it. And then I hopped the fence with my USB in hand. By Jove, I've got it. 
In late December 2002, Nickelodeon ran a series of short specials during ad breaks, known as Merry Nickmas Shorts. Each short was built around the different casts of their most popular shows at the time, and the most beloved of them all contained more than just a singular show. Yes, for the first time ever, we got a Nickelodeon celebration that didn't just force all their characters into their own specials, but let them all be together. We'll be covering and chatting about these shorts in celebration of this Christmas. I mean, everyone's talked and knows about Christmas Who and Babies in Toyland. Today we'll be talking about a Chucky Finster Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Winter Solace, Holiday Party, How You Know Who Stole You Know What, Patrick the Snowman, and 12 Days of Nickmas. Let's jump into it. A Chucky Finster... Uh, you know what, this title is too long. I'm gonna call it the Rugrats Peanuts parody. It is one of my absolute favourites. It's clear from the animation and the sound quality of all of these that they either had very little time or very little budget for all these. Remembering the fact that these were little more than advertisements for the real big budget Christmas specials like Christmas Who and Babies in Toyland. So that at least explains the less than stellar animation in all of these. But anyway, I digress. Oh, I think there must be something wrong with me, Thomas. Don't you wish? Nope. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Winter Solstice are coming, but I'm not happy. This is honestly such a fun way to make a Rugrats Christmas short, considering Steven Spielberg himself called Rugrats the modern version of Peanuts. The combination of this style in this parody is wonderful. I mean, they even got the dancing right. While the style is great, the shortened amount of time they have to actually do anything makes the whole short feel much more rushed than a clip from Peanuts. Also, due to being very short, and rushed, its depth and meaning is very superficial, which is in great contrast to the extremely deep and religiously focused Peanut special, which makes it feel like a rather skin-deep parody. It also is lacking a, a bit in the writing and comedy side, but it's still a fun time. Now for The Holiday Party, one of the more well-known shorts that even I kind of remembered seeing. What's really cool about all this is it's very much in the same style as the modern Spongebob stop-motion specials. It's funny how all these years later, they're still doing it. It's also just nice to see all of our favourite characters all together, even if it is a little bit cringy at times. And despite all the rather cringy dialogue and strange voice acting... I don't want to be an elf. I want to be a fry cook. A fry cook? SpongeBob wants to be a fry cook. SpongeBob wants to be a fry cook. Who's SpongeBob? Tell me! It's just nice to see all our favourite cartoons all in one place. Now for How You Know Who Stole You Know What. Now every tune down in Toonville liked Nickmas a lot, but Brinchelica, who lived just north, did not. I never liked Angelica. So she hopped on her Malibu Cynthia sleigh and took off for Toonville that very day. She snuck through Toonville and pretty soon she was stealing chocolate from every Nick too. Also, may I point out that this really isn't the best time to try and sneak into people's houses. It's the middle of the day. Although uh, it could just be that it's you know the Arctic where it never really gets that dark, so maybe that's the angle they're going for. You know, you, you, uh, maybe I'm just underestimating you know the amount of effort and time and thought they put into all this. A chocolate helmet, a chocolate board, chocolate figures of Ultra Lord. That rhyme though. Out came the littlest Nick Toon of all, little Plankton Lou Who, who had one eye, not two Who. <clears throat> what is going on here? Grinchelica tried to think up a lie, something to use as a quick alibi. She patted Plankton on the head and kicked his green butt back into bed. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the best bit. Tomorrow in Toonville there would be no treats, no Nickmas goodies, no Nickmas sweets. And as she looked down at her big Nickmas hall, she thought of the tunes having nothing at all, and she decided right then and there she really, truly didn't care. The real meaning of Nickmas, as far as she could see, was... Now that's a life lesson for you. Now for Patrick the Snowman. It all started with the first snowfall of the year. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's CGI. Nigel, what have they done to you? You look... waxy. 
Why do they always design Cindy with the peach shirt? She only wore that in the movie. And might I point out that Jimmy is wearing his longer jeans and his differently designed shoes, which means that they've chosen his design from season two. So not season one, season two. So they're even further into the Jimmy Neutron series than they were in the movie. So why does Cindy always get this damn same design? Damn it, Nickelodeon! It's always the same with the games and with these little things. She, she always gets the peach shirt, and I don't understand why. It's literally been years at this point. If they're going with this design of Jimmy, then it's been years since the movie, and yet they still revert back to this. It annoys me way too much. Also, for some weird reason, uh, the Jimmy Neutron voices are the weirdest sounding of them all to me. I can't tell why exactly, but they don't sound right. Is this Discount Lord of the Rings? This, I, I think I remember seeing this in Lord of the Rings. Someone, someone, something like this. Nigel, what have they done to you? And now, 12 Days of Nickmas. Now that is worrisome. Hmm, pointy. <laughs> well, there you have it. That was Nickmas. I love Nickelodeon's Christmas specials, and I love shows taking the time to celebrate Christmas. Even if they aren't always the best, the addition is always welcome. Now with that, I'd like to thank all of you for coming and spending this Christmas evening with me. Wherever you are in the world, whether it's burning outside or freezing, I'd like to wish you all a very happy Christmas. Bye bye. Mwah! We wish you a merry Nickmas. We wish you a merry Nickmas. We wish you a merry Nickmas. That's why we're all here. This song is about December and Nick. Our holiday specials and Nick children ears. Hey, here's just a little sample. Please watch, cause it's quite a lineup. Please watch, or you will upset us. Do we make ourselves clear? I knew you'd make it better. Blah, 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 blah. It's Christmas! It's Christmas! Open your present! I'm Joey again! We wish you a Merry Nickmas. We wish you a Merry Nickmas. We wish you a Merry